Well, everyone has a story. Cassie came to me a few years ago and she was marching and dancing and twirling, singing. Quiet was not in her vocabulary. Her parents and her previous teachers felt that she needed to be tested for ADHD, but I just knew she had a big personality and needed a place for her wings to spread. Angel was a different child. He came kicking and screaming. I would peel him from his mother and shut the door quickly so we didn't play hide and seek with the campus monitor. <laughs> I had taught his older brother and sister and made the call to CPS, so I knew why he was scared. I knew why he screamed. I knew why he climbed under tables, but he liked to run. So did I. And if I challenged him to a race at recess, he'd write his name on his paper and he would even come to guided reading. Everyone has a story. Even I do. I'm homegrown. I went to San Juan Unified School District, Carmichael Elementary School in kindergarten and went all the way up to Rio Americano where I graduated. And I came back because it's a great place to learn. I had Mrs. Robinson who took American Revolution and she acted it out because none of us knew what was going on. And I had Ms. Asselford. She knew that karate was important to me, so on belt night testing, I didn't have any homework. And Mr. Lawrence, he understood I was going through a tough time, so I got to write a paper about why I did not read the book. <laughs> they connected with me, and that's why I became a teacher, because making a connection is the most important thing. There are thousands of wonderful teachers, and many of them are in this room right now. It is our year to tell our story, to show why education and fighting for kids like Lily are important. Thank you so much for your support.